Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to delete the Shopify account. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be wondering how do you actually delete your account for Shopify. Now in this case, if you're getting small sales and you've decided to basically close your store, well, this one is actually pretty easy. So there are going to be a few things that you should be checking here before you actually delete your Shopify store. But in this case, I'll be showing you what are those details that you should be checking. Now in this case, first thing you want to do is you want to, give, to, want to go to Shopify.com, log in into your account and access your store. Now, once in your store, what we need to do next is we need to access our settings. So at the very, very bottom or the bottom left corner of your screen, you should see the settings button. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, you should be able to see different options. But for now, let's go ahead and click on plan. Now, under plan, this is typically where you'll be able to see the deactivate trial option. So if you click on the activate trial here, it's going to say or ask you what is the main reason you are closing your store. Now in this case, select the appropriate reason here. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and add additional uh, details about it and hit on continue. And you'll be able to basically deactivate your store here or basically just close it. Now in this case, before doing that, I would suggest you to first check a few things. In this case, you might, uh, sometimes users might get, uh, or might still get charged on certain things here if you don't do it properly. So first things first is you want to go to billing and you want to make sure that you unlink your card here. Now also, you want to also check your apps here. So if you're paying for any applications or if you've installed any applications here that is paid, you might want to consider closing those applications first or canceling their plan first before closing your account. Now, in this case, if you also have a domain or precise domain for your account, you might want to also transfer this to a different user or just basically disconnect it so that you'll be able to start using it in a different platform. But in this case, once you've done all of those details, the next thing you want to do, go back to plan here, click on deactivate trial, answer necessary details, and just hit on continue. And from then on, you should be able to basically close your store here and just click on deactivate store. And from here on, you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.